We've come to Miyoko Palpal Ward on one of the nine smaller islands that make up the Duke of your group of islands in East New Britain province. It is about an hour boat ride from Kokopo and it is one of the five local level governments in Kokopo district. Its beaches are what holiday brochures are made of. But beyond these breathtaking views of its spectacular beaches lies a big problem. About 15,000 people live here and water and sanitation remain their biggest daily struggle. Clean water for cooking and drinking is a scarce necessity on the island and the people occasionally use the sea to bath and as a toilet to relieve themselves. Inlamin Sebulon tells me there's no running water in their homes and never has been. Their source of clean drinking water is at the mercy of nature. But the problem gets worse when it doesn't rain. It's the same problem all over the island, Inlamin says. It represents years of government neglect, she says. But their challenge is not just about water and sanitation, but to convince the provincial government to attend to their needs. Channeling district funds towards water and sanitation infrastructure hasn't been a priority for the Dukovyok people, but there are efforts taken to improve the life on the island. The International Organization for Migration is one of the humanitarian organizations that has been in the forefront hoping to make a breakthrough to come up with long-term solutions to change the way of life on the island. On Wednesday, when the IOM visited the island, the people celebrated. Thank you. The team led by Chief of Mission for IOM, Lance Bonneau, marked the signing and handing over of the Disaster and Risk Management Plan to various stakeholders, including the East New Britain Provincial Government. We're not here to do things for you, we're here to partner with you. You have the leadership, you have the vision, you have the experience, you know where you want to go. We thank you for inviting us to come and help you. While IOM assists in identifying possible solutions, the funding of such projects that make up the contents of these booklets hinges on district's money, something that the people on the island haven't felt in many years. But in the heart of Kokopo town, the district's capital, there is a vast contrast. A multi-million kina water and sewage system is being built for the city. But about 10 kilometers across the sea from the provincial capital, Inlamin Sebulon and her children prepare to head back home on a canoe. And they know they don't have a choice but to drink from the well and use the sea to bath despite the unseen risks involved. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.